Hello everyone, I'm Shuffling Prime, and welcome back to another episode of Enter the Gungeon, episode 4. Okay, so last episode we played as the convict. We got all the way down to floor 3, but then we were killed by a kilothid. Uh, you Dungeons and Dragons players would know them better as Mind Flayers. Okay, so this time we're going to play as the hunter, huntress. Whichever, whichever it is. Now, this one is my favorite one, simply just because of her dog. The amount of consumables that dog can find for you, like keys, hearts, stuff like that, is amazing. So, like, I, I definitely like playing as her a lot. Oof. Well, that's just dumb damage. Okay, well, red chest. I got my heart back. And. Bullet time. What's this? Okay, bullet time. Active items. This clock holds mystical properties that enable the activator to slow down time. I can see that being useful up against uh, certain bosses, also just being in certain situations. Like being up against Gatling Gull, I would uh, definitely love to use that as one of my active items. Now, let's see here. <coughs> see how far we can get with this girl. Okay, sweet. So, the shop's up here. And we got the Tommy Gun. Key, and we also got the cellar. Sweet. Okay, so I could have, I could be set up for a pretty decent run, as long as I don't, you know, get shot, and as long as you know, I also play it pretty cool. I should be okay. Oh, that was lucky. Oof. Getting the Tommy Gun would actually be a pretty good group clearer. Not sure how it is against uh, bosses, but up against little mobs like these guys, I'd love to have it. Oh, there's a shield somewhere around here. Oh, see, dog finds stuff. I guess this is what third or fourth room, and dog has found stuff. Oh, boss room. Okay. Aha! There we go. So happy that this is floor two, because floor two those guys are electrocuted and they actually hurt you. It's stuck in a corner there, uh, shuffling. Oh. Talk about up close and personal. Okay, so still only have one key. Find something? Oh, oh, probably the money that I picked up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what? And it even gave me a key, so completely worth it. <coughs> I 
got a health upgrade and a key. Four key. Completely worth it. Basically got it for free. So, like, I, I really can't. And another key, like, awesome. Let's see here. It's definitely one more area for a chest. bad damage. So like I have said in the past, brown chest, not worth my key, therefore I shoot it. I shoot it dead. It gave me health. You know what? Awesome. Might need it later. Okay, let's go talk to this fine gentleman. You know what? We can see what it does against the boss. We'll see. We'll see. Might be good, might be bad. We'll find out. Oh, the trigger twins. Now these two, in my opinion, are probably the easiest to beat, but the second hardest to get um, a flawless on. Because there is two of them. Now, they are pretty easy overall. You just basically run in circles with them for the most part. Shade and smiley. Ah, okay. That that was my fault. I so was not paying attention. I I, I was. Oh, I did stupid damage. Oh well, things happen. Still beat them anyways. Oh, glass cannon. Oh no, I'm not gonna use that. Not at all. If anything, I am going to sell it. I, I Glass cannon, if when fired, you lose all but like one of your health. So, uh, no. I'm good. Thanks. But, for survivability reasons, do I want armor? I got two keys, so, like, I'm, I'm good on that front, but they become harder to get the further you go down. Yeah. Very tough. Very tough. Um, you know what, we'll go with the shield. Okay, floor two. Let's also see if there's someone else that we can uh, pull out of the dungeons. Thank you for everybody who is still continuing watching the series, even though I am horrible at uh, playing it. I do plan on. Oh, that, that was. I do plan on playing this as one of my very regular uh, games to the channel, at least until I get the Platinum Trophy. Um, after I get the Platinum Trophy, then probably not. Um, but I also based off of how this is all going, I can't see that in the foreseeable future, so I think we're all okay there. Although, for those who don't like this series, then I'm, I'm sorry, but I enjoy this game, and I'm 
just want to keep playing it until I uh, get platinum. I think that's fair. Shop over here. Okay. Uh, oh wait. What's the, okay. Two keys. Interesting. Okay. Sniper. Fire. Fire. Aha. I win. Oh crap. Ambush. Ah, I was paying attention. Oh well. Gotcha. Next. Sneak attack. Oh. That was an awesome combo kill. This is rude. Okay. <clears throat> now, there's a boss that I don't want to deal with right now. When I say a boss, I mean he's like a... It's like a mini mid-floor boss kind of idea. Because that's the boss. So we found the boss room. There's one more chest for me to find. As well as I need to find a lot of money out of ammo out of everything. Okay. <coughs> Might have to get the cor uh, the uh, weapon that's in the uh, shop just to survive. Not necessarily just survive, like I, I can. Basically, when I use a blank, the enemy gets lit on fire, or at least there's a chance that the enemy will get lit on fire. Let's actually take a look at this. I'm curious. Blanks have a chance to ignite enemies, so yeah, a chance. This enchanted copper amulet was forged deep in the forge. Forged deep in the forge, of course. It was, durr. Warm to the touch. Huh. Maybe one shouldn't be wearing it for a prolonged period of time. Just a thought. <coughs> no. Just no. Okay, so... Okay. Let's go to you first. I don't even have enough. Cool. Okay, well, you know what? I may actually lose here. We'll find out. Wait and see. Yeah, it's Fusilier. Okay. Here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Dead. 
Oh well, well that was an anticlimactic end to uh, this run, but it is what it is. Next time. Next time we'll get it. Well, thank you for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, please like, subscribe, and comment. Or comment, like, subscribe, you know, whichever order. You know, just all three, please. And um, hopefully it will be more in the f uh, later in the future. Till then, see you next time. Bye!